I'm Chris at PDQ.com, and today we're going to go over exporting custom field data from PDQ inventory. For those of you who have recently migrated to central server mode or are thinking about migrating to central server mode, this is going to be especially important if you have multiple uh, independent databases for PDQ inventory with uh, disparate, disparate uh, custom field data. This is going to help you export that so that you can import it into your new central server. So, it's really easy to do. Uh, first, we are assuming that you have custom fields defined with uh, data populated. So in this case, you'll see here that I have nine custom fields defined. And you can actually see those uh, in this case, if I pull up uh, one of my machines, uh, the custom fields page will show that there are a few, not all of them, but a few of them that actually have data populated. So in order, in order to preserve this, the easiest way uh, that I'm going to recommend is just creating a report to show the different custom fields as columns. So up here, we're just going to select new report, basic report, and then we're going to define each one of those custom fields as columns that we want to see. All of them are in the computer table, and this is going to be fun to watch me create all of these, so bear with me. I'm just going to paste a lot of these and yeah, we'll, we'll roll with it. So in this case, we're, you can just actually type the name of the fields and I don't remember off the top of my head, so I'm going to pull that open for a reference. And then we're going to type Dell ship date. Let's go on to Dell warranty. Dell warranty and SLA. This is uh, also going to be uh, used for if you need to export this data to another system. Say you have a different inventory system that you also use uh, from anything from Spiceworks to, to whatever. Uh, this is a really quick and easy way to grab that data. I actually do this uh, from PowerShell myself uh, just to kind of have it uh, easily accessed from a programmatic fashion, but that'll be a separate video. So check out that video as well. So here we go. We have this define. I'm going to save this as custom fields export. Save that. And I'm going to run it. You're going to see each computer and all associated custom fields and the data that they have populated. And you can see that there's quite a bit here. So it'd be a shame to lose this if I uh, moved to a central server mo mode on a different machine and lost this data. That would not be great. Well, good news is that it's really easy. Once I've defined this report, we just click save data to file and we'll pick a location to save it, uh, desktop works. And it saves that in this uh, file that you can see. We'll open up with Notepad++. You'll see that it is a CSV. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You can take this, run with it, import it into PDQ inventory via the custom fields import wizard. You can import it into any other system that you want. But that's it. I'm Chris at PDQ.com.